This week on the Ritual Misery podcast, I said it right this time, Kent and I will discuss streaming services and how they may or may not give you PTSD from your childhood. (laughs) Uh, Definitely, we're going to talk about some free ones, and uh, the PTSD is also free. Uh, No, it costs. Hello and welcome to the Ritual Misery Podcast, episode 274 for Thursday, the 18th of February, 2021. This is a show where two lifelong friends and their guests celebrate all things geek. I'm Amos, that's Kent, we don't matter. Thank you for being here, Sovereign Bohemian. Yeah, I'm calling you out first thing because you threw the first up there. I think that's a that's worthy, right? <laughs> get some old chat oh, recognition. yes. What is going on? This is our penultimate Thursday episode. Uh... It, it, yeah, sure. Yeah, that sounds. Yeah, uh, I think uh, it's probably 20... accurate. Yeah, at least, uh, until it's not. <laughs> there we go. There, that that's what I was looking for. Yes, that's that's what I was looking for. <laughs> um, this Sunday we are switching over to uh, to Sundays again. We'll we're going to do Sundays for the rest of the month and see how it feels. This time we're going to try instead of seven p.m. Pacific, we're going to go four p.m. Pacific. Which is closer to our target time. Originally, we wanted to go 5 p.m. Pacific, but we're going to try 4 p.m. Pacific. So all those times, I know you're confused, 4 p.m. Pacific will be our live recording here on Twitch on Sunday, the 21st, 2nd, 22nd? Sure. Whatever day Sunday is of February. Yeah, <laughs> the, yeah, the, the, yeah it's, yep, it's a date on the calendar. Yes. <laughs> Lack of specifics is not a faux pas around here. It's it's a feature. <laughs> um, dude, I have had a kind of a crazy day. It's a little bit, been a little bit of a rough week. Um, lots of things going on, but you apparently have had uh, kind of a rough week as well, since you told me in pre-show that your that that Tuesday it's a short week, but Tuesday you had finished all your obligations for the week as far as like putting up with people's <laughs> shit. So now oh, that you're overflowing man. in that, tell us about it, man. Give us a give us a scoop. What's going on? Well, um, so I, I wish that my obligations were finished up. Um, you did you say overflowing? Was that the was that the the phrasing that yes. you used? Yes, yes, it was. Um, what an interesting choice of phrases. I just sent you a video that I'd like you to play. Oh shit! Now, huh? I gotta do that now. Oh, okay. Uh, talk about yeah. it. And I'll load it up. Yeah, so I've so I've got a property, a second property that I'm fixing up and about to put on the market. In fact, I was I was going to have it on the market probably this week, um, until uh, fate decided otherwise. Um, something happened in the house, and uh, the video that that you're queuing up right now is going to. Uh, give you some somewhat of an idea of what uh, what I've been dealing with this week. Okay, here it is. I'm going to play the video. The video will be linked to th- in the show notes, by the way. Let's check this out. All right, I see a screen door with water coming out from beneath it. Uh, a lot of water. Like, uh, is mm. all is, is that water coming through the through through the bricks? Like, <laughs> I didn't know bricks could do that. All right. It it turns out it turns out houses are leaky. Uh, they can be. What what the hell they, happened? They, they they can be quite leaky when you have a pipe a pipe burst inside a wall and floods the entire house. Oh Jesus! Was, yeah. Uh, was this because of the cold? Um, maybe still, uh, I'm, the jury's still out on that. Um, I'm waiting for the insurance inspector to determine if it was an act of God or if it was because the pipe is 20 years old. Um, but, uh, okay. Um, but yeah, so, uh, water extraction is still underway. This was Tuesday morning, by the way. Yeah. When that happened, uh, water extraction is still underway. Uh, went into the house last night and it felt like a fucking jungle. 
Uh, yeah. I got the heat pumping. I've got uh, fans going. I've got uh, a giant dehumidifier running in there. And uh, yeah, it is quite humid in that house. Jeez. <laughs> so yeah, do, so do that's, you know when that's the, how my week Do began. you know when the pipe burst? Uh, not exactly, but um, I'm guessing it was going for a few hours. Oh, jeez. Yeah, uh, that's gonna be a fun water bill to pay, also. Yeah, and 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 now when you sell the house, you have to disclose that it happened. What a pain in the dick that is. Yeah, well, I mean, it does. I mean, you don't have to put everything that's ever happened to your house, but it's it is a disclosable thing. So if someone says, yeah. by chance. Did a water pipe ever burst in a wall that caused the house to flood? You have to answer yes. Right. <laughs> Son of um, a bitch. But yeah, yeah, and it, yeah, it really sucks because I just put new carpet in the bedrooms um, a week and a half ago, two weeks ago maybe <laughs> at this point. So it's like, well, damn it. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's yeah. Water is one of those things, though, like when water sits for a while, nothing is salvageable. But if water is is cleaned up quickly enough, everything is salvageable except drywall. Like well, there's... yeah, and that's and that's the thing. You, you know, the um, you know, that tool that, that you can use to uh, d- to detect moisture mm-hmm. that, that y- you know, you put up against drywall and it can tell you if there's moisture yep. behind it. Um, yeah. The entire house, almost a foot high. Oh, Oh shit! Yeah, so we'll see. Um, hopefully tomorrow, all yeah. of the extraction is done, and I'll be able to get a full damage assessment. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, but the good news is, uh, I am covered by insurance, and they are going to cover at least the the bulk of it. Um, yeah. The really the only thing in question at this point is the the uh, the plumbing bill. Yeah, which wasn't too bad. Uh, that was just uh, that was less than three hundred dollars to repair the plumbing. <laughs> oh, fine. That's that's a lot better than eating thousands of dollars. Right. Yeah. Especially when you're trying to trying to yeah. sell a house. So yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Yep. That's, <laughs> so. Yeah. That's balls. yeah. So how how uh sounds like you had you had a week too. Uh, can you top that? Um, probably not, not, not monetary wise anyway. Um, I, uh, so there's tons of change happening around here in a very short period of time. Um, lots of people in this house are on edge between finals and potential moves and things at different jobs. Like it's kind of one of those things where everybody just, everybody just needs to chill the fuck out and relax and none of us kind of can right now because we're all in different stages of of a heightened sense of of hurry for different projects or different you know work-related stuff or interpersonal stuff or whatever else um i've been under a very different stress like i don't have like big projects that are due stuff like that i've got you know a couple small things here or there but i've been exceptionally irritable lately and i couldn't I can't quite figure out why, and that's fine, you know. I mean, everybody has those moods, right? Everybody has those weeks. Sure. I kind of blew up this morning. Um, first of all, how much do you know about PTSD? Um, I like mean, how, how how much of how much of a personal interaction have you had with PTSD? Ooh, that's a tough question. Um. I would say that I've experienced some, but not on a not on a large scale. Like I don't have, uh, like I don't have a, a catastrophic level of um, of experience. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That's a very hard thing for me to answer. Right. Um, have you been around people that that suffer from PTSD? Um, I have been. I don't know that I've been around anyone uh, in, in in recent past. Um, I mean, okay. well, let, let me put it this way. A lot of people cover it up well. Right. And it comes out during, like, stressful times or, um, or sometimes just unexpectedly, right? So I've been around people that I had no idea 
and then suddenly there it was, you know? So for me to say that I haven't been around anyone recently is probably not true. Yeah. Uh, but I have not experienced the effects with any sort of recency. Let's okay. say it that way. Um, so I, 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 I have PTSD and it took me a long time to recognize that it was because I don't have like what you might consider shell shock or whatever. Like I wasn't in a, a catastrophic event that led to a rewiring of the circuitry in my brain or anything else. I was in a section of my life in my career in the air force where I was going from toxic leadership to toxic leadership to toxic leadership. And it culminated in a deployment in which the leadership was completely toxic and basically had me on edge for about seven months and on edge, not like I'm going to get shot at kind of on edge, just the constant fear of failure and like a heightened sense of, of, um, self-responsibility and trying to take care of my people and trying to take care of do my job and exacting standards that, that go beyond the normal human capacity for not making a mistake kind of thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, all while at a deployed location with real world shit going on in a situation in which real world information needed to be passed on very quickly and the decisions had to be made and uh, uh, mistakes on which, which information needed to be passed on uh, were just as likely to result in getting, you know, getting your pee pee smacked as misspelling a word. Mm. Like, so it didn't matter the mistake. Mm. Any mistake was unforgivable. <clears throat> okay. Um, and I could, I could point to very specific people that were responsible for that, that culture of shit leadership at the time, but that that's neither here nor there. So what happens is during times when I'm stressed, like this is how my PTSD manifests. During times when I'm stressed, I tend to become reclusive. Uh, I, I withdraw from social situations. I withdraw mm -hmm. from um, uh, 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 responsibilities. Like I kind of turn inward. And most times this turns into a bout with depression, with acute depression. Like Yeah, I... Yeah, and I can understand that because that that's a lot of times my reaction uh, to things like that. I turn inward as yeah. well. I, I um, that's that's led to uh, all sorts of issues for me in the past. Uh, me withdrawing has caused strife in other people. Uh, yeah. That's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, relationship <clears throat> issues, uh, worker <clears throat> workmate issues, um, even. Sometimes it goes so far as to just not wanting to leave the house, like not quite agoraphobia, but, you know, definitely a reclusive nature. That's that's my typical uh, mm. uh, PTSD manifest manifestation. And it doesn't help that I've been, a, a for the majority of my life, a sufferer of depression as well. So, like, the two kind of compound. Once in a while, however, it goes the other way. And it turns into explosive outbursts, uh, usually verbal. It's never been physical. Like, I've never just gone off and, and punched somebody or something like that. But once in a while, it will become a verbal assault on someone. Um, and hindsight being twenty twenty, I should have seen it coming. Like, I should have known. Because I was getting more, more verbally aggressive with certain people in my household. Uh, certain adults in my household, I should say. And just not being a nice guy and I didn't recognize it, even though I should have held the rest of my family should have, but you know, mostly I, I'm going to put it on me because I'm, I'm me. I'm the, I'm the person. Um, this morning there were some issues getting the kids ready. And at one point uh, I already have issues with kids that tell their parents, no, like it's just not something that should happen. Um, mm -hmm. and one of the children was making life particularly difficult Immediately after I had confronted my sister-in-law on speaking myths, myths, truths, mm. uh, she had said something that was scientifically inaccurate, and I didn't appreciate that. I let her know so, and then right after that, one of the kids was causing troubles as far as getting ready for school, and I had a verbal outburst, and holy shit, uh, I, I don't like being the asshole. I typically am. It's not that I hate it it's just it's not my preferred <laughs> action but, but it's, it's what i'm good at right. so it's often what i stick with um 
I completely felt like shit all day because of of that. And I know my my eight year old daughter was the target. Um, she will probably forget it in a matter of like before she got out of school today. But mm-hmm. to me, it was like this symbol of it was a definite sign of necessary self care. Mm-hmm. And the whole point of bringing this up isn't just to share a story about how I yelled at my eight year old. Um, it's important to understand that not only does PTSD show in different ways, it manifests in different ways between different people in different situations and different moods and everything else, but also that you, especially when you, when you recognize if you have any hint of it at all, you need to take some time to genuinely self reflect and make sure that you know where you are in your own personal mental balance because i didn't and that's how that came about this morning um so i know i know we usually try to keep it uh comical on this show we usually fail miserably at making it funny (laughs) um but uh, once in a while we got to tackle something that's real and especially when it comes to veterans issues this is one of those times when i i felt that this was not a story that should be just suppressed and go on having a, a lovely time because sometimes it just it needs to come out so i'm not looking for therapy or advice or anything else i've got all of that already but i just wanted to share that because it's important to understand uh uh, that just because you see somebody yelling at somebody or you know not wanting to talk to you or whatever else you don't know where they come from or what's going on in their brain like sometimes people just need to be a little bit different so uh, yes, yeah, so thank you, Jackie Hearn, for uh, subscribing with Prime, giving us some of that Jeff Bezos money because he doesn't need any Hell more. yes. Yes, we need all the Bezos money. Send all of it our way. Yeah. Let's do it. Um, yeah, dude, I've I've had similar uh, similar things to happen in my life. It's, um, sometimes the, the effect on your psyche, uh, like when you realize what you did and you – and you feel bad about it, that can be a source, um, in itself. Uh, I don't, I don't know the word, the right vocabulary for, for what I'm trying to say, but, uh, there was an instance where I yelled at both my boys for, uh, we were doing chores, yard chores, and, uh, it wasn't being done the way that I wanted to, or with the speed that I wanted it to be done. And, uh, yeah. You, what did you call it? A verbal outburst? Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's call it that. And um, it was a thing that, that my, well, it affected my boys for a while, uh, but it's a thing that still affects me today. Like every time I think about it, it, like I, I feel uh, bad. I just, I feel bad in so many different ways. I feel shame. I feel regret, um, sadness. I get angry at myself sometimes when I think about it. And this was years ago. This yeah. was years and years ago. Yep. Like I've more than made up for it, uh, you know, like to my kids, but it's still a, yeah, it's a thing. So, so your reactions to certain things can be, be both the result and a new source. Um, yeah, yeah it's a, new it's stressor, a thing, yeah. man. And it's a thing. And and uh, I'm sure there's a lot of people, probably a bunch of our listeners, that have or are uh, going through similar things. And, and like, talk to somebody about it. Don't don't keep it to yourself. You know, find somebody. Hell, find us on Discord. Like D- <laughs> DM DM us. I mean, don't make it public if you don't want to. But 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 DM <clears throat> us on Discord. Uh, bit.ly slash RMP Discord, by the way. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, like hit us up. Either one of us would be willing, more than willing to to help you through some stuff, like just talking and um, sharing experiences, sharing uh, things that uh, may have worked for us or, 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 or probably more often things that haven't <laughs> worked for us. But just talking through things is yeah. so freaking therapeutic. Um, yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, um, you know what else is therapeutic? <laughs> I don't know. 
I don't know that this is the right uh, segue, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> it is now. I, uh, yeah. So right now, dude, my my left shoulder is like in so much pain right now. Like it feels like somebody slugged the shit out of my arm. Like remember, like when we would put on a new stripe, and yeah. then we'd do like a gauntlet or whatever. Yeah. Like people would, so would on. tack on the stripe. Yeah. Yeah, and you know it's all these punches. You know, in later years, it kind of became more of like just a little love tap. But when back when we were airmen, dude, it was like I know of people that have had broken arms from that shit. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, that's what my left shoulder feels like right now, uh, and it really hurts to to put any kind of pressure. Like if I lean on it or pick something up, mm-hmm. or if I like extend my my arm, like when I was putting on my jacket earlier, like it about killed me. Um, so, but I, so is this, so I'm going to, I'm going to assume that this is one of two things, either a masturbation incident or you got your COVID <laughs> shot. <laughs> if only, if only it was the masturbation incident. Um, yes, but you nailed it. Um, yes, this morning I got my, my first dose of my COVID-19 vaccine. Um, so it's a good thing. It's awesome, and I encourage everyone to either, uh, if you haven't already, get on that list. Um, it's it's out there in the public now. It's at, at it's at Walmart. It's at um, Walgreens. I think there's a few other uh, uh, local pharmacies that have it. Get on that sign up sheet. Um, man, definitely do it. It's it's a good thing. For- I got I got a call. Oh, Nightbot isn't working again. Um. Yeah, I got a call from the VA saying that, "Hey, can we put you on our list of last minute calls since you live close to the close to the uh, the VA area here?" Um, they are giving doses to uh, elderly veterans that are in the in the target zone, and then sometimes they can't show up or whatever else they miss their appointment or you know get stuck in traffic, car breaks down, whatever. So they usually have five to 10 doses each week that need to get used. And initially they used them, you know, on themselves, but now there's still more doses. So they're, what they do is they'll just cold call veterans and say, Hey, can you be here in yep. five minutes? Um, just so that it doesn't go to waste. And I was like, yes, you can put me on that list. And my sister-in-law got her dose, her first dose today. Cause she's a frontline worker. And that's where we're at in the uh, in the system here in uh, in Alaska. Um, mm. So we'll see how she feels because she got it at like eleven o'clock this morning. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I think she got the Pfizer. Do you know which one you got? Moderna. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yeah, and then hopefully we'll have the was it Johnson and Johnson or whatever coming soon as well. Um, yeah, yeah, that one. I, I think it was that one that just got the uh, just a few days ago, in fact, or maybe a week ago. Uh, yeah. Got the emergency authorization. Yeah. So yeah, uh, we landed. We're on the getting mo- there, man. We landed on the moon today. On the moon? Uh, on the Mars. On the Mars. Yeah, on we landed the Mars. on the Mars. Yeah. yeah. Shut Perseverance. Up, yeah. Welcome home, Perseverance. Uh, yeah. Did you watch the video? I, ha- I haven't seen the video yet. I watched it live, so it was during during right prep on. for DTNS, so I just went in and watched that live. Yeah. So, uh, um, yeah, that's it was awesome. Pretty that's cool. Freaking awesome. Pretty cool. It, they they nailed it. Uh, I, I'm not sure exactly how far they came from their exact spot they wanted to land, but they were like on time, on target. Yeah, that's awesome. <clears throat> um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cur- Curtis is pointing out he's trying to give our episode names, and uh, it's that's... not connecting. That's exactly so, what I, uh, he said. He said, yeah, just write will, it down. That's what I was doing. <laughs> yeah, right on, right on. That is awesome. Um, <laughs> and Jackie Hearn says, and now there are 1,132 cases of COVID-19 on Mars. Yeah. <laughs> hey, with, with any with any luck, there might be some some possibility of that. And I, I not to say that Perseverance I'm... took COVID-19 to Mars, but there could be uh, entities... Uh, on Mars that could receive COVID-19 potentially uh, bacterial entities that uh, perseverance is hopefully going to find. Yeah. Uh, they took a lot of time today. They're answering questions for kids and things like that. Of course, there's a NASA broadcast that went to schools and stuff. And, uh, Oh, there's some shit. Uh, 
they took a lot of time to explain how they sanitize everything. And they answered the question like four times. And it was like, geez, really? Like we know, we know that you sanitized everything to send it to Mars. And something's still going to get through. We, we all know this. That's just how, that's just how it works. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll, uh, yeah. Okay. Sorry. Uh, glitch in the, uh, in the chat. Yeah. Um, anyway. Um, yeah, dude, <laughs> like that's, that's exciting. And, um, uh, anyway, speaking of, uh, speaking of planets, I've got a game for you. Oh yeah. Yeah, you do. I do. Let's try that. Can I please have your attention? In the last 30 minutes, kids done something. Now you've got a guess. He was very excited. Kids games. Play with him. Tonight's game is called Is This Even a Real Planet? Uh no. It's not. <laughs> this is not a planet. Yeah, so as as I like to do, the name of the game uh, doesn't necessarily line up with what you think it's going to line up with. And that is definitely the case here. So our main topic for the night is about free streaming services. And I made our game tonight about Pluto TV, which oh. is one such streaming service. Okay. So um, I was trying to think of word plays about Pluto. So I was right. It is not a real planet. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Ding, ding, ding. You have won the game. Yes. All right, so so going into it, let me ask you this. Have you ever watched Pluto? Uh, I think I have, but I've also <laughs> like watched several different streaming platforms, and they kind of all merged together at some point. Okay, um, so I will say this, uh, and I'll talk a, a little bit more about it in the, the main topic of the show, but Pluto TV, out, out of the free services, Pluto TV is probably my favorite. Uh, because it does have a waterfall uh, option. So, like when you, like by default, when you go, it's just like live streaming TV. I say li like quote live. It's like a live right. stream of television. So, so you you go in and you're like in the middle of a of a TV show. You don't have to choose what do I want to watch. You just turn it on and it's playing. It's just like old school cable TV. Right. Um, and they have many, 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 many channels. Some of them are very uh, general, like comedy, mystery, action. But some of them are very specific, down to an actual name of a TV show, and it's 24-7 streaming of that particular TV show. Uh, that could be a good thing or a bad thing. Thank you, Sovereign Brahimian, for the 100 bits. Hell yes. Thank you very much. All right. So I'm going to name a channel, a Pluto TV channel, and you tell uh -huh. me if it's a real channel or not. Okay. All right. Your first one is ALF. You remember ALF, right? Um, I do. I, Gordon Shumway. Um, That's right. He was the first character I ever saw that loved cats as much as I hated them, and for all the same reasons. <laughs> <laughs> because they taste good? No, because he wants to eat them. I want the, I want him to eat them too. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. So is Alf a real channel on Pluto? I'm going to say yes, cuz I believe that is the service that carries Alf and none of the others do. So I think I think they gave it its own channel or show specific channel, which would be great, which means I need to watch some more TV. Ah, <laughs> uh, I wish you were correct. Unfortunately, Alf is not a Pluto channel. That's bullshit. Yeah. So I made this quiz last night. So so for any future listeners of this, the results of this quiz are accurate as of the 17th of February, 2021. Okay. So <laughs> Alpha is not uh, a Pluto channel. What about Dog the Bounty Hunter? Um, I'm going to say yes, because that's something I've already seen all the episodes of, and there's no reason you should be watching back-to-back -back episodes of that show. So it only makes sense that they'd have that available. It is. It is, in fact, a real channel. All right. Uh, what about Pokemon? Oh. Who? 
owns the rights to po- I, I guess that's not even really a question here. I'm going to say n- yes. Cuz there's you're a lot saying, of there, there's a lot of Pokémon out there. Okay, you're saying yes. Um you would be wrong. Jesus. <laughs> But there is a category for it. Well, it's called video games and anime, and there are several animes. Uh, like Naruto, for example, is a channel on there. Speed um, Racer, but unfortunately, no, Pokemon is not. What about Speed Racer? No, there's not a Speed Racer channel. My favorite thing about Speed Racer was the techno remix that they came out with in like '93. <laughs> Yes, and I can't remember who did it, but I if I was given multiple choice, I would know the right one. I would not know the right one because I only ever <laughs> heard it on a bootleg tape, and I haven't been able to find it since. I've heard I've heard several other shitty versions, but not the not yep. the porn version that I've that I've grown to love so. Yep, hard. I was gonna say yes. I, there was an amazing techno version, and then somebody did a remix of that version. And made like a porn, like a porn parody yeah. version of that awesome techno version. Yes, and it was, and it was incredible. even better. It was like one of the times that the remixes was way better than the original. Yeah, yeah. It Just my like p- oh, it was like oh, speed, oh, Trixie. <laughs> Just like yeah. Here he crazy. comes. Here comes Speed Racer. Oh, ah, oh, ah. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. If, if, if you, I, man, I'm so glad that you remember that too. <laughs> uh. I had that tape and I only ever had it on the tape and I've never been able to find it since. <laughs> All right. Uh your next channel. MST three K. I could see that being a channel, but I think somebody already I think Paramount no I mm, I'm trying to get my licenses in there and I, I don't know. So I'm gonna say yes, that should be if it's not, it fucking should be. Okay, you're gonna say yes on that one? Yes. You are correct. Oh, my gosh. I should just say yes, yes. to all these and get away with 100. Yes. Um, I, the MST3K is I, – like, I, I am so glad that that's a channel. Um, unfortunately, like with, with MST3K, usually I like to watch those from the beginning mm-hmm. so that you can see the whole – you know, when they uh, – I can't remember what it's called. When they, like, get sucked into the th- – oh, it's time to go to, to the theater, you know, and they – Anyway. Um, yeah. But anyway. Yeah. Um. Real. All right. Do you remember any specific episodes of MST3K? Uh, I would probably be wrong if I if I threw one out there because there's so many of them that I thought were actual MST3K and it turns out they weren't. They were just DC movie uh, party. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Yep. I don't know the name of it, but there's one episode where at like three quarters of the way through the movie, this guy comes in with a stack of papers, uh, comes into the room in, in the movie and comes in and just like has a stack of papers and you see him come in screen and then he comes off screen. And, uh, oh man, I can't remember the dude's name. One of the robots is like, oh, look, the script has arrived. And it just is like that. That fits the show so <laughs> fucking well. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's so good. Because they were, they'd been joking the entire time about how who's got the script? Is anybody writing the script on this? And then that guy comes in there. With, oh, look, the script has arrived. Nobody's like, yay! <laughs> <laughs> God, it's great. I yeah, love this show. Yeah. Uh, all right, your next channel, Laverne and Shirley. If it's not, it should be. I grew up on Laverne and Shirley. Okay, but I'm gonna say no because it just seems like a yes, and I've been getting all these wrong. So fuck it. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, well, you're fifty fifty so far, right? The, for the first four, you're fifty fifty. So, sure. uh, Laverne and Shirley, you're saying yes or no? I'm saying no. You're saying no. I'm saying no. You are correct. Oh my god. <laughs> there is a Happy Days channel, though. Right. But not Laverne. Is, Laverne and can you think of another another triple uh, tr- triple spinoff like that? Because you got um, uh, Happy Days, Laverne and Shirley, and then that spinoff to Mork and Mindy. Mork and Mindy, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, probably. So let's see. We've got uh, so All in the Family uh, is where the Jeffersons came from, and okay. I feel like something spun off from the Jeffersons. Um. Uh, uh maybe not or maybe it was like a follow up to the jeffersons like a uh um 
you know, like how there was mash and after mash. I feel like yeah. there was uh, like a, a moving on back uh, down. Yeah, something. Yeah, like <laughs> not that, not that. Like I'm sure that didn't happen, but uh, I feel like there was something else. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, hit us up if if you guys know what it is. Hit us up uh, on Twitter at Ritual Misery. All right, uh, your next one, Doctor Who classic. No. No. Okay. No, because the BBC's um, it, all got that shit all up their ass about who can what, who can show that and everything else. Huh. Well, uh, you're incorrect. Doctor Who classic is on Pluto. Well, yeah, because the BBC is all about letting people watch it. <laughs> oh man, um, that's another one that I that I really like because uh, give me some Tom Baker on there. All right, uh, your next channel, Cops. Bad boys, what you gonna do? It's I'm gonna say yes because you can watch about forty three thousand hours of cops on YouTube without a problem. Yeah. So it only seems fair that they'd have it on on tu- on Tubi or on Pluto. On uh, Pluto. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. Well. Yeah. It, it is on there. It is a channel. Yep. Um. I better right. get these next two right. I'm ahead of the curve. <laughs> All right. Your next channel is Dallas Cowboys Cheerleaders. Please, no. <laughs> I'm going to say no. And I'm really, really, really hoping I'm right. <laughs> well, I'm really, really, really sorry to tell you that you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> The sh- yep. So shit like that is why we can't be friends. <laughs> oh man. Is it- All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Your next one is That barely deserves to be a playlist on YouTube. It certainly doesn't deserve to be a fucking channel on, on any platform. I know. the channel so i knew what kind of content is on there because i have no idea like what what in the hell is it like did they have a reality show or something like i don't they they did they did and there's not enough porn in it that's for sure (laughs) debbie doesn't make an appearance no ah damn it yeah damn it debbie (laughs) all right your next channel is the price is right i'm gonna say yes come on down the price is right on that one. Um, I've actually watched quite a bit of that channel. <laughs> is is it just the old stuff, or is there like some Drew Carey stuff in there too? I, I have only seen the old stuff. It's all it's all been Bob Barker. Okay. So yeah. And what kind of fucking name is Bob Barker for a dude that stands on the stage yelling at people to name their price? Well, I, I think it's a great name for for somebody that tells you to neuter your your it's, cats and dogs. <laughs> In so many ways, it's just such a fitting name. Uh, anyway, is that uh, is that his real name? Is it really Bob Barker? That's a good question. I'm I'm going to find out real quick while you uh, go with the next question that I'm not going to be able to answer correctly. All right. All right, your final channel, and this is for the D. Oh. Your final one, American Gladiators. Yes. Uh, no, no, no. I'm just going to – I'm going to – I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to – uh, gamify myself here. No, you're saying no. Yeah, no. <laughs> because I knew that you were gonna gamify. Mm-hmm. I made the answers not five and five. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you're wrong. American Gladiators is a Pluto channel. So you're telling me that the one week I don't keep track of the answers and I just go off the top of my head is the week that you decide not and and then i got it right internally but then you screwed me over by not balancing the answers <laughs> like what's the whole point of game theory and shit if if anyway uh that is uh robert william barker is his is his full name so it is bob barker it is bob barker for a guy that became a game show host and uh advocate for for spain and neutering your pets bob barker is really just the perfect name 
and I didn't get the D, so I got to play. This man has no dick. Because apparently I've been neutered as well. <laughs> Indeed, you have. Uh, uh, that was fun. That was actually a really fun quiz to put together because I got to scroll through Pluto and put together a quiz. <laughs> and watch the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders. Well, well uh, that's yeah, that's where I fucked up because I didn't. I didn't watch it. So I, I have no idea what the content is on that channel. I'll well, see. See. It's <laughs> yeah, probably probably not enough porn, that's what I'm gonna say. Yeah. Or yeah, far pro- too yeah. much, I, I guess, depending on what you're into. But you know <laughs> Yeah, it depends on what you call porn. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh man. So uh yeah, so that was our game. So we t- we already talked a little bit about Pluto, so I guess I'll I'll kind of finish up about it. Um Pluto hundred percent free. You don't need an account, nothing. Uh, you can, you can put it on your streaming device, whether that's Apple TV, um, Amazon fire stick. Uh, you can play it with it in the browser on your computer. You can put it on your phone. Um, it's, it's on all the places. Uh, they do have, uh, 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 what, what am I trying to say? The, um, content where, oh, on demand. There we go. They do have on demand content. Uh, they got uh, quite a few movies. Like, you know, you're not going to have your like modern day blockbusters, but yeah. there's some pretty decent stuff in there, um, and some TV shows that you can actually stream on demand. Mm-hmm. But I've already said what I really love Pluto for is the waterfall aspect of it. You can scroll through all these channels if you feel like watching pro wrestling. There's like three or four pro wrestling channels. You can scroll through those. Uh, if you feel like watching uh, MMA, they got that as well. Uh, there's there's comedy. I already talked about the anime stuff. There's mm-hmm. all sorts of stuff, man. Um, I, I think absolutely everybody, if you consider yourself a cord cutter of of any variety or just want to dip your toes into cord cutting, like I recommend Pluto above all the other free streaming services. Wow. Um, I I don't watch enough TV is what I've discovered this last week when we started talking about streaming services. Mm. Because when I do watch, like, you know, the, o- the only TV show that I watched this week was uh, The West Wing, and we watched on HBO Max because I st- I'm still subscribed to that. And it's got subtitles, which makes it easier to keep up with because I'm getting slow in my old age. <laughs> um, right. I I've, I've, I know I've used Pluto. I know we have it on, t- on our Apple TV, but... I, Clearly not enough because I need an Alf channel. Oh wait, you said that wasn't a channel. Maybe not Pluto. Right. <laughs> that, however, that might be on Peacock, which is another service we're going to talk about. Yeah. Um, I haven't I haven't looked actually, uh, but Peacock is the the NBC streaming service where, again, you don't need an account at all. It's it's free. Yep. Um, and then there is premium content, of course, uh, because it is a pr- for-profit thing. Well, with Peacock, uh, uh, the, the you have – is Peacock the one with the ads? And then you can pay for ads, and then you can pay for no ads. But when you pay for ads, or is that CBS All Access? I think that's CBS All Access. So, Well, um, that that's probably the case with CBS as well. But Peacock, I, I know for sure. Um, so you got the free, um, which is – I mean, a, a significant amount of their their library. Um, but if you want all the stuff, mm-hmm. especially all of their their new stuff, their current stuff coming out, you pay five bucks and and um, you can watch it with ads. So obviously the free ones with ads and the five dollar one is with ads. So but so you, you got the free you just tier, hate the ads. The, you pay ten bucks and it's the same as the five dollar one, just no ads. Right. So you got you got the free tier that has. Um, about two thirds of their catalog plus ads. You got the five dollar tier, which is a hundred percent of their catalog plus ads. And you got the ten dollar tier, which is a hundred percent of their catalog, no ads. I think that's actually a good step in plan for these major that's, services. Yes, absolutely. That's that's why I'm a big fan of of Peacock uh, because it's the reason I like the cock. Let me tell you the ways. Um, but no, I think that is the perfect. I think that is the perfect pricing model for for these streaming services. Like um, you you mentioned CBS All Access, I was just now thinking about it. They don't have a free tier. Yeah, I, yeah, that's what I thought. So so yeah, um, 
But which CBS All Access is actually about to to become Paramount Plus. But uh, <laughs> I yeah. s- I still don't understand the whole HBO Max bullshit when it doesn't include Cinemax. Right. Or, yeah. Or that's about as that's about as confusing as YouTube Red. Which wait, what do you mean that all the porn's not there? Like, uh, <sighs> yeah. I mean. In, in uh, the other way to read that would be like Red Tube U, which would be like <laughs> a whole issue altogether. <laughs> yeah. No, but speak, speaking of YouTube, though, a lot of people don't realize on YouTube, other than just being like, uh, you know, because obviously that's a free service as well. Um, other than just being like, you know, the Ritual Misery channel and a, and a bunch of just like user created content, there are movies on there as well, like Hollywood movies that you can watch with ads. There are, and if you have movies anywhere, anything that's in your movies anywhere, if it's linked up to YouTube, you can watch those on the YouTube site for free because you already own them. Really? Yes. That I did not know. Yes. So I have, anytime someone buys a DVD and it's got a it's got a movies anywhere kind of thing to it, they give it to me because everybody just leeches off my, my libraries anyway. Right. Um, I say leeches, but like almost all the movies anywhere stuff that I own was Either either purchased through Apple or was given to me by somebody else and added to my Movies Anywhere account. But yeah, they're a part of Movies Anywhere, so you can always go on there and watch the movies that you rightfully own on the YouTube site. So if you're just like sitting in a sitting somewhere and you're like, you know what, I really want to watch my cousin Vinny. Oh, I have that, but I don't have it downloaded. I can watch it on YouTube at a lower quality and still get it because I'm in a shitty cell service area. Right. So uh, yeah. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and link up my YouTube. To movies anywhere because I did not know. Holy crap! Like that's game changing. That yeah. is, that's amazing. Like I'm so thrilled that we're having this conversation right now because I just learned something <laughs> freaking awesome. Yeah. Good. So that's great. Um, what, what's a what's a what's a, a streaming service that that you? I know you don't watch a lot of TV, but what's a you, you know a, a free one out there that? Uh, I. That uh, let me let me let me make sure it's it's even on this list here. Um, I really like and uh, and I hate saying this, but I really like the Plex service because I'm a Plex Plus subscriber, so I get all the Plex service. Uh, but you can still get a lot of stuff for free, or you know you pay for the uh, the lifetime access yep. to Plex Plex Premium. Um, they have a lot of these little channels and a lot of these other services in there that you can just kind of tap into very casually because it's just on your menu you do a search and it kind of shows up like hey you were wanting to see this but we also have this this and this and that's usually how i find this stuff and i just hit play and then i'm sitting there watching for three hours some random channel i need i don't even know what it is but you know it went from from downhill bicycling and now i'm watching anime and i don't don't even know how i got to the third season of avatar but whatever (laughs) right yeah. Um, no. Yeah. Plex is a, a really cool service. Completely free. That's uh, it's fantastic. Um, I came across one the other day that's not in this list. Oh. Uh, I and I don't know how new this is. It, it is probably pretty damn new because I had never heard of it until a week or so ago. Mm-hmm. It's called CW Seed. So like the CW network. Oh really? Um, yeah. And it's got um. um Hold on, load up. Here we go. Shit's Creek. It's got the entire run of Shit's Creek on here. Does free. it? Does it have the OC? Um, they do have the new, the new quote new, the new nine hundred two and O. Oh. Um, they've got everybody hates Chris. Uh, Nikita. They've got a Deathstroke animated show. I think it's um, Nikita. My wife went to school with the chick that plays Nikita, but I could be wrong. Oh, really? Yeah. Um. So was what was the show bit. you asked for? Uh, the OC. I remember that show. Yeah. Was that CW? That wasn't CW. I'm right? pretty sure it was CW. Yeah. But this just tells like you how confusing shit is. So, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of wrap things up here a little bit, but the best site that i know of that you can use to find all of this and more like so many things you want to watch a show you don't know where to find it you don't know how much it's going to cost you to stream it go to justwatch.com oh yes 
Oh my gosh. Just watch. Is it dot com or dot TV? I think it's just. Uh, just, just Google watch. Just Watch. It comes up. There's also an app. I use an app on my yep. iPhone. To use just Watch to, uh, dot com. Yeah. Um, cruise on over to Just Watch dot com and it'll tell you it's got so many of these uh, services on it. And you can just do a search like we can do do the OC. Right. And there it is right there. And click on it. and It'll come up. It'll say some of the recent episodes and where you can stream it. You can stream it on HBO Max, and then you can buy it on these right down here. And how many seasons they all have on it? Uh, yeah, you can. It, there's this site is. Oh, yep. oh my gosh, this site is so amazing. Yeah, I've been using this for a few years now, yeah. and every once in a while, I'll find something that's not accurate. Um, usually, it's in my favor though. Like it'll say that it's a seven ninety nine purchase on Amazon, and I'll go there, and it's actually four ninety nine or something like that. Right. But right. every now and then I've seen an omission where it's actually, you know, it's on Amazon Prime, but they say that it's not anywhere, for example. Yep. That's happened once or twice. But for the for the vast majority of my uses, it's been spot on. Oh, or at least at least give you an idea. Oh, it's it's here. It's there. Or it's not Oh, in these. It's it just it's so good. It's just just watch dot com will give you all these. It's linked up to all these different services. And again, they may not be the most up to date because stuff's changing all the time. But it's a great launching point if you know what you want to watch. If you don't know what you want to watch, don't go there. That side, yeah. the site is a morass of browsing and menus and clicking through. But if you know what you want to watch, just watch dot com. Yeah. So if if you just want to watch Ritual Misery, I bet Ritual Misery doesn't show up on there. Uh, but if you just want to watch Ritual Misery, uh, I've got a couple of programming notes uh, for well, mostly for this weekend. Um, misery. So. We're, uh, the Ritual, The Misery Index, Midsummer. Yeah, no. Uh uh-uh. uh. No, Ritual Misery is not on there. Damn it. Yeah. One of these days. Maybe it will show up on Crackle or something. But you know I can watch Misery on HBO Max right now? Oh, that's so good. Uh, that's such a good movie. Really good book. It too. is. It is. Um yeah, so anyway, we so we're doing the show now. Um tomorrow is Friday night. Which means it's Among Us on uh, for for game night, which yep. I'm almost certainly going to be there Saturday, where they're doing their first episode of their Trappist series, which um, I'm pretty sure Ritual Misery is going to do a pre-show for yes. that. Uh, the the Have a Drink folks, we went digital for a second, so uh, the Have a Drink folks are doing the first of their Trappist series. For this year, they're doing like I think four over the course course of the year, and yep. the first one is uh, it's is it Rochefort? Yeah, yeah. So they're going to talk about the, the basic beliefs of the Trappist and a little bit of the you know the origin story of the Trappist, mm-hmm. and then go into their first the first um, brewery, which is uh, Roquefort or Rochefort or however you want to say it. Um, choose choose your pronunciation. Um, I choose to pronounce it like they did in the Three Musketeers Disney movie live action because I always think, when I see it written down, I always think Rochefort. Isn't that some kind of smelly cheese? <laughs> yeah. Um, just just yeah, me? Let's, it's fine. Let's go with that. But then Sunday, like you already mentioned, we are going to be doing a 4 p.m. Pacific show. And yeah. it's not just going to be you and I talking to each other. We've got a guest. Yeah, Ryan Ari. Is it Ari or Ari? Ryan, Ryan Ari. Ryan Ari. Ari. See, from, I knew uh, I was going to mess that up. Like, whichever one I chose was going to be the wrong one. Right. Even if you said Ari, then somehow the universe would change itself. Right. Yeah. So Ari. that his name the, was The dimensions would have diverged at that point, and we would be going <laughs> down whichever one was wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ryan Ari is pretty cool. He's an uber nerd, geek, all the things. He likes all the same stuff that we like. Um, it's going to be a blast. If you guys uh, don't quite know who he is, check out Screen Crush on YouTube. Yep. And uh, he's that guy. Yeah. Uh, so he's going to be a fun guest on Sunday. And then we roll into a new week where we are going to have our one week from today should be the final Thursday episode of this show. The final regular Thursday episode of Ritual Misery for the foreseeable future, which basically isn't. But yeah, you know, well, it's like it, I said at the beginning, it's it's accurate until it's not. Yeah, it's 
it's, that's how it, that's how it is. Um, yeah. So yeah, and uh, uh, what what should we be talking about on that episode? I guess I should be answering that, but it's it's an odd number. So do you, you got to pick again because I had a guest on my episode. Neener neener neener. Oh, see that's not fair. I booked Ryan, so and I also chose the uh, chose this week's topic. I think you I think you gotta you gotta. It's your turn to name. <sighs> Fine, collectibles. <laughs> collectibles. Collectibles. Okay. Very broad on purpose. Collectibles. Okay. He's hammer jacking that into the show notes now. So if you're watching the video and you see him looking down, playing with himself, it's actually his keyboard. <laughs> hey, thanks for covering for me. Uh, that's a better <laughs> excuse than I was going to come up with. <laughs> <laughs> for what? For playing with yourself? Damn it! I... Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, That actually fits with some of our titles for the night, but we'll get to that. Uh, it's about time I hit the other button, right? Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Do that. Let's hit this button right over here. You can find all the links we talked about in the show and more at our website, ritualmisery.com. Give us some feedback. Shoot us an email. Do whatever. Ritualmisery.com. Uh, yeah. 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 Lots of things. Bye. See ya. The Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs> R-I-T-U-A-L-M-I-S-E-L-Y